prepare something, but my husband told me to not escalate. So I have a lot of jokes, but they're all trademarked and patented and copyrighted. So I guess I'm not going to tell my jokes. So what I would actually like to do with this uh, fine, you know what I like about Lawless? Is he makes me feel dainty. You know what I don't like about Lois? Is he makes me feel dainty. <laughs> he's, uh, you know, he's more than a right-hand man. He's kind of a very large giant of a man. And I know we're going to be doing the giant jokes all night, so I'm going to save that for everyone else. Apparently the tradition is that I'm supposed to talk about all these people here. I don't know who half these people are. <laughs> shades on for numerous reasons because quite frankly um, Angela is one of the few people I love having at pork test because she makes me look classy. <laughs> the first time uh, Angela came to pork test, the rumor is, apparently she likes people to suck her toes. I'm just going to leave them there. <laughs> Not me. There's nothing I can say about Adam Kakesh because we all know I have a little like married lady crush on him. <laughs> but I'm like, dude, I think you need to start drinking again because fuck it, how much weed can one person smoke? <laughs> Taryn. Oh, Taryn, 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 Taryn. Has anyone told you? Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> Of course, is that we're supposed to 
doesn't really be making fun of you. <laughs> but that's hard for me. So this is where like we trump up the music and all of that. You truly are a giant of a man. You're someone I really love and respect. And I, you know, I really I have nothing other than fat jokes. The fact that he likes to huff because this man <laughs> paints more doorways and houses and walls and stuff than anyone I have ever met. He just, every time he's in state, do you, actually, do you have like six families in different countries? I think mean, he's making a comeback. Sure is, because uh, this man tends to travel a lot and he's hardly ever here, but when he's here, he makes such a significant contribution to what we're all trying to achieve here. So, as a queen, I could see to you. Carla! Apparently my play didn't take. <laughs> all right, uh, <clears throat> let's keep the show ball moving here. Okay, our next guest is someone very special. Uh, the funny thing about Taryn is you really don't even have to exaggerate. I can just report factual stuff. It was Chris. Well, welcome to the roast. Because I'm already drunk some music. So, let's look at the talent up here. For those of you that missed it the first time, this is a golden opportunity to miss it again. Yeah, yeah. yeah for Curtis found the real cream of the crop, right? It's a real race to the bottom here. And I know I made a Curtis joke, but fuck you, I'm too lazy to rewrite my shit now. Of course, this is the year of the bald man. Take a good look. Apparently, their hair died off with their sex lives. At least they're not gingers, right? Hey, come on, fuck the gingers. Sorry, they're not And I see Brett. Carla exposed his whole deal. He's getting up and reading Jamie's jokes. It's basically Jamie's gay intro. What's that word? Wasabi! <laughs> All right. You didn't know, right? You know, I work with a, with, a, with a serious professional like Tom Woods. I'm giving one word answers, you know? Racism, slavery, and everyone's favorite, fuck, uh, right? With, with, with Brett here, it was really, he wanted a zombie soliloquy, I suppose. So let me turn it over now to Brett, how do you say your last name? Vinod, wow. my good buddy, brother. Vinod. Uh, get ready for something that's a little less eloquent than the last presenter. Um, my name is Brett. I'm not really into roasts. This is not really my kind of humor. I uh, was told or uh, asked to come up here and do a favor for a friend. Uh, Jamie Crane could not be here. He wrote to me a couple weeks ago and he said, I just don't have the life skills required to get to protest. Just nine months notice. <laughs> She had to like was in this tight situation where she was a drug dealer, and then you know the state kind of caught her, and she had ended up uh, ratting on her friends, and they went to jail or something like that. But um, you know, there's, there's different schools of thought. You know, some people say that she shouldn't have done that. You know, go go to the jail and just you know be hardcore about. Other people say, hey, it was the state's fault. They had a gun to her head. There's another school of thought, of course, that says you know, don't be a drug dealer. Just you know, call me, call me crazy. Just my work. Okay. <laughs> But the thing about Chris, Chris Laws will never be in that position because he has no friends. So, so I think we can all learn something, learn something from Chris. Alright, like I said, we're on this summer. Not further ado, put your hands together for the Chris the Freaking Giant What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. What happens at Port Fest? Yeah, I learned about what happens at Port Fest is posted on Facebook in like 30 freaking minutes. <laughs> uh, no, seriously, Port Fest is great. Has anybody found the Liberty Leprechaun yet? I'm still trying to find out who's posting.
posted all those signs. So, listen, some serious prizes coming up. And so, actually, here's a serious note before I uh, start talking about all these assholes. Uh, Osborne's. Big round of applause for the Osborne's. Lazy libertarians like to bitch and whine about all sorts of things about the roads, but you guys don't realize how much work it takes. So seriously, Osborne, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And then there's lots of other volunteers, and I'm actually going to point out. I know that JJ and Paul and Kurt put up the lights. They put in lots of hours. So, and then Kelly volunteer, and I could probably talk about 40 other volunteers, but I really appreciate it, guys. I know what it takes, so thank you guys a lot. And the guys who work for uh, Mandrake in the back, you, the guys, like Boner Joe, which is a great name, Boner Joe, and Luther, you guys rock. I know that Mandrake is such a penis, he's a fucking capitalist pig, making you guys work. Thank you. 
but um, it has no big words in it, so Bob could understand it, and all of you could understand this book. And you that didn't go over well. <laughs> you can comprehend that book. That word matter? Jamie, comprehend means understand. <laughs> So, actually, one of the best things about Bob is Bob looks really freaking old, but he's actually under 40, believe it or not. It's fantastic. But that's what you get when you're an AND cap and you're living in Tennessee. Is there anybody from Tennessee here? Yeah. Okay, that guy is freaking 70 years old. But look at him. He's not a day with 25. Those aren't words. That's a port four one one, motherfucker. Actually, no. That's Michael who made port four one one, so I get all those fucking horrible messages from David Crocker. <laughs> I have to get a ride from Key to Mid Manchester to see if Ian Friedman's gonna get arrested for chalking. Thanks for filling up my fucking inbox, Michael. No, but we're all peaceful people. We're all peaceful people. Why are you trying to harm peaceful people? But this is a calmer, gentler court fest this year, which I really appreciate. And you guys see Church of the Sword doing security this year? Now, I know that Ian Friedman and Peter and all them talk about, like, you know, badges don't grant rights, but obviously a fucking t shirt does. And then. It's kind of funny, when I moved to New Hampshire like seven or eight, like a thousand years ago, people always go, Chris is the Fed. He has like a fucking real job, a mortgage, and a family. <laughs> and I have to tell you, I am not the Fed. It's freaking Tammy. That's what I have to tell you. <laughs> Adam Kokesh, you look like a fucking jaundiced cancer patient. <laughs> No, but seriously, Adam, the only thing that fucking could be worse than that shit on your fucking chin okay, is that guy's fucking chin. <laughs> the top hat and teeth. So, you guys know that Adam vs. the Man was canceled last year? Yeah. That was sad, huh? You know what's even sadder? Is that Adam blamed it on Jesse Benton. <laughs> Benton has that power. Adam, to have a TV show, you have to have fucking viewers. I mean, there's seven people with a TV in Russia, and they don't even watch. So, I was talking to my eight-year-old son today, who couldn't make it a pork fest, and he said, hey, Dad, if you see Adam Kokesh, tell him I don't need my t-shirt back. <laughs> I'm too big for it. <laughs> but when Adam's done, <laughs> yeah. 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 When when Adam's done with it, maybe give it to Pete Air, because Pete Air obviously doesn't have any t-shirts. <laughs> No, seriously, Adam is like the heir apparent to Alex Jones, which is cool. Um, you guys know like Chemtrails and NWO and Bilderberg Group and, you know, all sorts of that stuff, right? You guys know that stuff, right? You know it's all fucking bullshit. The lizard people run all this shit. Queen of England's in charge. You gotta go with the program, Adam. Come on, the Queen's in there. She just had her Jubilee. Don't mention Jews to Adam. There's one hiding in his beard. Wait, you're one of them? Adam Kokesh is a Jew, ladies and gentlemen. Who knew? Or I should say Jew knew. <laughs> 